Today we're going to be doing a core focus workout that also incorporates some spinal mobility and we're going to be using the mini Pilates ball. So I want you to get started on your mat. Come to about the middle of your mat and then you're going to roll down gently onto your back. I want you to take the ball now. You're going to place it underneath your pelvis. So bring the feet in, place the ball ball underneath your pelvis. Now feel that it feels comfortable here, you're in a neutral spine. So that meaning that your ball isn't too high, that your back is arching or too low that you're tucking the pelvis under. So just find some good placement here so that you're in a neutral spine. And when you feel comfortable, we're going to start with some pelvic tilts. So on your exhale, I want you to tuck your pelvis under and shine your pubic bone towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, tuck it under. Inhale, come back to neutral. So here we're going into flexion of the lumbar spine. We're waking up the spine, waking up the core for today's class, getting into that spinal mobility, just tucking the pelvis under and then coming back to neutral. This should feel really good on your spine. The ball is nice and soft, so just like a hug on your lower back. And then come back to neutral spine. I want you to dip the right hip towards the mat. Keep the knees facing up towards the ceiling. Bring it back to center and then drop the left. So try and keep, keep the hips still. If you want, you can place your hands on the mat or on your waist. And just feel that nice like rotation in the lumbar spine as you drop that hip towards the mat. Coming back to center, we're now going to incorporate both movements. So I want you to dip the hip towards the left, tuck the pelvis under, rolling through center, coming to your right side, lifting up into a neutral spine. Do that again, starting left, tucking the pelvis under, coming to the right side, and then coming back to neutral. So we're doing a circle here with the hips. Really getting into the flexion, extension, and rotation of that lumbar spine. We're going to go in the opposite direction. So you're going to drop your hips towards the right, tuck the pelvis under, going towards the left. <sighs> Feeling a nice release in that lower back. Getting into the core, drawing the belly button to the spine. Last one here. Coming back to your neutral spine, lift the hips up, take the ball out from underneath and then roll up to seated. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the mat. Take the ball behind your lower back now, wedge it in there. I want you to lift up and lengthen and then you're going to tuck the powers under coming into flexion of the lumbar spine. Now feel here, this ball is giving you feedback. Press your lower back into the ball so that you come into that C curve and you have a more lumbar flexion, more mobility of the lumbar spine. Inhale, lift, lengthen, take your arms parallel. Exhale, tuck the pelvis under, scoop in the abs. Inhale, lift, lengthen, exhale, tuck. Let's do another one and then we're going to hold it back. So draw that transverse abdominus in and then you're just going to Take the palms to make them face each other, open and close. Very good, really draw the core in. As you open up the arms, it will get more difficult because you're putting more load on the core. Let's go for another three. <sighs> Exhale as you open, draw the belly back into spine. Last two, last one. Lifting the hands up now and then lowering. So stay in a half back, half roll back position, draw the ab and scoop that tailbone, scoop the pelvis under, coming into a nice posterior pelvic tilt. Let's go for another four, exhale, lift, draw that core in. Really feel that core shake as you bring those arms up and over. Last one, lift, lift, lift. Take the arms parallel now, and then you're going to bring the right arm in towards the waist. Look towards that bent arm. Take the left arm forward, protraction, retraction of the shoulder, and then we're going to switch. 
a nice flowy movement scooping the abs getting into the rotation of the thoracic spine mobilizing there because we have mobilized the lumbar spine so now we want to mobilize the thoracic spine as well some nice flexion and rotation together last one each side really twist and then lift up take a break take a quick break okay and then you're gonna roll back into your half rollback position scoop in the abs take the hands behind the head do you feel the extra load on the abs as you take your hands behind your head you're going to lower back circle around towards the left lifting up and over and circling to the right so we're getting into the twisting motion doing circles here getting into some nice rotation of the thoracic spine last one in this direction scoop in the abs draw the belly button to the spine and then we go in the opposite direction really think of twisting scooping in the abs Ooh, it's getting hard as you'll notice the ball just gets higher and higher as we progress through this workout so lift up lengthen the spine okay i want you to come onto your back and then you can take the ball just between your shoulder blades so by your bra strap and then just fold over lengthening the spine really opening up the abs that we just worked okay Take the hands behind the head, open up the chest, elbows wide. You're going to exhale, lift up into your ab curl, gaze towards your belly button, draw in the abs. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Keep the spine neutral, don't tuck the pelvis under. Get into those upper abs let's go for another four exhale <sighs> sliding the ribs down towards the hips now you'll notice this ball allows you to go deeper so you're getting more of that extension and flexion of the spine and also working the abs deeper hold it up here and then we're just going to twist from side to side so try and bring that elbow towards the mat and then twist towards the other side exhale as you twist keep the pelvis still the pelvis doesn't move you're just moving that upper back let's go for another four more exhale twist inhale center and then switch that ball is giving you a nice massage come back to center we're going into lateral flexion of the spine so bring that elbow towards the waist and then to the other side lifting up in that ab core exhale exhale as you side bend over last two last one each side keep the pelvis still i mean back to center lower the head down open up the shoulders and the chest take a nice big break here Deep breath and release. Coming onto your side, lifting up. Take a quick water break. We don't want to be here for too long. Take a nice quick water break. And then when you're ready, you can come back onto your mat in a sideline position. So make sure that bottom leg is bent, top leg is extended. We're not going to use the ball just for this. We're going to get acquainted with our setup here. So take that arm a bit further out from the shoulder. I want you to lift up out of that shoulder and out of the side waist. 
draw that belly button to spine, lift and lower that top leg. So you'll notice that leg doesn't get as high and that's okay. I just want you to get um, comfortable with this positioning because we're gonna add some stabilization by using the ball. It's gonna get harder. Okay. I want you to take the ball underneath your right hand now. Okay, balance here. Push that top hip away. Relax the shoulders, press into that ball. Exhale, lift the top leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. What you'll notice here is you're crunching in the obliques. So you work in the obliques, you work in the glutes, you work in the arm. It's kind of like a full body exercise. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Let's go for one more and then you're gonna hold it up. Circle it forward, up and around. You don't have to make your circles big here. Just keep that stabilization, lifting up. Keep that core engaged. That's more important than how big your circles are. Take it in the other direction, lifting up and over. Stay with me. Let's go for another two. Last one, hold it up, continue holding it up. Take that foot back into hip extension. Bring the ball in a little bit. Okay, you're going to roll that ball forward, shining the chest towards the mat, squaring off the chest towards the mat. And then you're going to roll up, bend that leg in, take that top arm back, look back, extend that foot forward, and then rolling it back again. Reach, exhale, lift. So we, throw, we are flowing through this, picking up the pace, getting into the obliques, roll, roll, roll. On your next one, we're gonna add a balance challenge, hold it back, and then you're going to bring it forward, bend that leg, keep that leg bent, twist towards that bent leg. You're hovering here keeping that balance, working those obliques, take it down, lift up, balance, twist, take it down. Stay with me, last one, reach it back, find that extension of the hip, little pulses up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Bring it back in. Take the legs to the other side now. Reach it up and over. Stretching out that side waist. Woo! Stretching out the obliques, the glutes. Before we go into the other side. That was hard work. Okay, I'm gonna come a little bit forward because I'm knocking my wall here. Okay. So, Bend the bottom leg, extend the top leg, draw the core in, push up out of the shoulder, send that top hip away. Okay, let's just get situated here. You're going to lift and lower that top leg. Make sure you're feeling comfortable, well not comfortable, I mean you're not sitting on the beach yet, but make sure your positioning is correct before we place the ball underneath the hand. Last two, last one. Take the ball underneath the left hand, lifting up, exhale, lift. Draw that core in, you're using those obliques. Those obliques are shortened here and they're extended here. Okay, let's go for another four. Exhale, lift, three, two, one. Circle it forward, up and around. Remember to keep that stabilization which is more important than how big your circle is. Exhale for half the circle. Inhale for the other half, take it in the other direction. Up and over, lengthen through that leg. Keep that balance. Okay, last one, up and over. Bring that ball in a bit closer. Take the other hand on it, extend that leg back, reach forward, up and kick. Look towards that hand. Your gaze follows this top hand. Reach. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift. 
On your next one, we're going to add the balance chain and lift up, twist towards that bent leg. Take it forward. Inhale, extend. Last one. Hold it back. Square off the shoulders, little pulses up with that leg. Keep that core engaged, belly button to spine. Last two, last one. Lift it up. Woo, take the legs to the other side. Reach up and over. Okay. Take a nice big deep breath. Stretching out the obliques and the glutes. Oh, that was a hard one. Okay, so I want you to take, we're coming into our last exercise of today's class. Take the ball between your legs now, just above your ankles. Okay, squeeze the ball there. We're going to come up into a plank. Okay, so come up into your plank into a nice, what I like to call an ugly plank. You're squeezing that ball, drawing your belly button into the spine, pushing the floor away with your hands, scooping in the abs, rib to hip connection with the pelvis. We're going to come into a side plank. So I want you to initiate the movement from your feet, then to your hips, then to your lumbar spine, and the rest of your body, your upper body. Okay, so we're going to initiate, roll on to that right foot, bringing the left foot on top, stacking, lifting up, take that hand to the ceiling. Lower it down, twist from the spine, bringing the hips up and then the foot comes down last. We're going to go into the other side. So we're going to initiate the movement, rolling onto the left foot, the right foot comes on top, reach up, find your balance, squeeze that ball, take that hand down, twist, really think about moving sequentially okay this ball is helping you to move sequentially by moving your feet first it's keeping the thighs together making sure that they work as one unit you're working on your stabilizing muscles okay take that foot down onto the other side Foot first, then the hips move, and then the spine moves. Hand comes up to the ceiling, lift up out of that shoulder. Take it down. Hips come. Foot comes down last. Last side, move the foot, then the hips, then the spine. Then the hand comes up and over. Take it down. Twist the spine. Hips come down. Foot comes down. Whew, take it down. Look up, lengthen that spine. Take your gaze towards your navel, scooping in the abs. Inhale, lift, lengthen, exhale. Push that floor away. Very good. <sighs> Sitting back now over your legs in a nice shell stretch. Just taking a couple of deep breaths here. Take your hands towards the left. Some nice lateral flexion of the spine. And then towards the right. Stretching it out nicely here. Taking your hands towards the mat. Rolling forward. Arching the back. Taking the glutes back, rippling the spine forward, arching, taking it back. Just a spinal wave here to finish class. Your spine should be feeling a little bit looser. Your core should be feeling stronger. Okay. Last one, and then we're going to sit it back. And then roll up vertebra by vertebra to seated. 
and that's the end of today's class guys i hope you have enjoyed this one using the pilates mini ball it's such a useful piece of equipment and if you have enjoyed this class please give me a like comment down below if you'd like to see more classes like this if you struggle with a stiff back or anything like that and don't forget to subscribe down below to be around for more of my workouts other than that i will see you all in the next video bye guys